Yeah, Michaela, and we've seen these different uh, outreach programs, ways they're trying to get to these underserved communities, and this is a great idea. It really makes sense, getting to local churches and using church leaders to kind of help get the word out and get these resources out. Now, uh, like you said, we're at First AME Church here in South L.A. It's got a long history, founded in 1872, and I'm here with Wanda Cuomo. She is one of the church members, and she's also uh, helping out with the testing today. So you have a testing kit here. Walk me through what the dialogue is going to be like and, and a little bit about the test. So basically, uh, we try to have everyone read pre-registered. Once you pre-register on the, our church's website, and that's famechurchla.org, you can go in and when you come here to the actual church site, we check you in, get your information, check you in. Once we get you checked in, I then hand you a, or one of the other testers may hand you a test kit. We scan the barcode, so this barcode pretty much is your identity code and it keeps track of all of your information as well as your results. Then once we do that, we give you the test, you open it up, it's a simple, simple test, self-testing only. So you open up your test, you take out the Q-tip, the swab here, you run it in your nostrils, both sides, 15 seconds, place it back into the tube. After you place it back in the tube, then you then place it back in this bag and we drop it off and you'll have your results two to three uh, business days. And then that, that's pretty much it, it's just that simple. But the good thing is that it's free and you do not have to be uh, paid for this by insurance otherwise. And you also uh, get to test as many times as you feel like you need to be tested. So if you're around someone who's, you know, been exposed or if you, you know, so happen to be at a social gathering, <laughs> which you probably shouldn't do. Uh, <laughs> right. Wanda, well, thank you so much. And this is going to be a great thank resource. You. Like she said, it's free and they'll be doing this five days a week through June 30th, Michaela. So this is going to be here for a while, not going away anytime soon. No, it is. And, you know, look, churches have been known to be part of their communities, the black church especially has led the way in trying to get their communities uh, equal resources, uh, you know, and access to health care. Mari, we appreciate the fact that you're there at First AME. Appreciate it this morning.